guys, it's Alicia and welcome back to my channel. And it's Christmas in July! Yes, I know it is the absolute end of July. Um, and I didn't read any Christmas books in the month of July, but I did in fact get into the Christmas spirit in July. While I was on vacation with my friends, um, we did a Christmas in July day, and then it has been ridiculously hot the last couple weeks, and it just put me in the mood for Christmas and cooler weather. So while in the airport, because I had nothing better to do, I did some book shopping. And they all happened to be Christmas books. So I thought to celebrate Christmas in July, I would show you the books that I got for my first round of Christmas books that I'll be reading in December, because um, I'm sure there will be more. I don't know if y'all remember my December last year. I had a fantastic reading month, and most of these are novellas, so I'm going to fly through them. Y'all, I am <sighs> umped. But first, I got a special little yellow package, and it goes with this because I got my copy of You Make It Feel Like Christmas by Tony Shiloh. Ah! I'm so excited. Look at it. This comes out September 5th, and I'm very excited. It is small and cute and absolutely beautiful. Um, and if you pre-order it before it comes out, it is $8.99 on Baker. So, just saying, $9. I'm very excited about this. I will be reading this before Christmas since I am on Tony's team. Um, and... Yeah, I'm just really pumped. So, now let us get into the Amazon haul. All the books that I got are not Christian fiction, but they are all clean reads. So, no explicit scenes. And um, I don't believe there's language in them either. Because I do have books by the other authors. I think there's only one new to me author in this lineup. So, without further ado, let's just jump right into it. First, we're going to go with the series that I bought because they were on sale. Um, this is the Costa series, the Costa Brothers series by Ellie Hall. Um, and she was doing a sale for Christmas in July and they were $8.99 each instead of $12.99. So they were on my list last year of books that I wanted to get, but I chose to get the Christmas Escape books instead. Um, so I got these in this year. And I will show you which ones they are. So there are six books, and they follow brothers, I believe. I know next to nothing about this series. But it was Christmas, so... First is Tommy and Mary and the Twelve Days of Christmas. And the, like, tagline says, No matter which way you slice it, pizza and pie are delicious, but love is complicated. Again, I know nothing, nothing about these books. Next is Bruno and Gloria and the Five Golden Rings. It's not awkward. It's not at all awkward when it turns out that you have to work with your blind date the next day. Mm. Next is Luca and Ivy and the Four Calling Birds. Would you rather be stranded in a snowstorm with Miss All Things Christmas or the Grinch? Next is Geo and Joy, Geo and Joy and the Three French Hens. It's just a Christmas crush. Like a gingerbread house. It can't last forever, right? Paulo and Noella and the two turtle doves. Christmas may be a time of miracles, but getting back together won't be one of them. And last is Nico and Hope and the partridge and the pear tree. And this is get married to save Christmas. Why not? I don't have anything else to lose. So, those are the books, and I will be reading those this Christmas season. And then I have a couple others that are also a part of series, I believe. Um, oops. But I just got something. So, first, 
And this one is by a new to me author I've never even never even heard of, but it says a sweet rom com on top, and I've seen her kind of floating around. Um, so what better way to try than with a novella? And that is My Night Before Christmas by Amanda P. Jones. And honestly, looking at this cover, it's kind of giving me fall vibes. So I'm wondering if I'll read this like the end of November, beginning of December kind of thing. We shall see. Oh no, the book fell. Ah! Next, I got The Hollow Duel by Haley Gardner. And this is a part of the series that she's writing. I don't, I don't know what it's called. Um, ah, right there. Falling for Franklin. I have book one and two, the retreat and the makeup that my beautiful friend Catherine sent me. So when I saw that there was a Christmas novella to join the series, I said, yes, please. And then this is technically a Christmas in July story. So I could still read it this weekend before July is out. And that is That Time I Kissed My Brother's Best Friend by Julie Christensen. I just read my first Julie Christensen book while traveling um, back from my vacation last week and absolutely loved her writing style. I read Jill Came Tumbling from the Apple Valley Bloom or Apple Valley series, that's what it's called, and loved her writing style. So I'm super excited to read this. This was published originally under like Red, White, and Blue Christmas or something like that, but she rebranded it and I think she changed some of the content. So I'm excited to have that. That goes with her new series, um, The Time I Kissed the Best Man's Grump or something like that. It's like all the books are like That Time I Kissed and then adjectives and so on. And then the last one I got um, is called Clara Soldier by Brittany Fitcher. And this is a retelling of The Nutcracker. And oh, I don't know if you know how much I love the story of The Nutcracker. I don't know. I know when it started. Um, Barbie and The Nutcracker is the superior retelling of that. Um, but when I saw this, I just... I knew I had to have it. If you know of any other Nutcracker retellings, please let me know. I am all, all about all things Nutcracker. So my dream is to hopefully see the Joffrey Ballet do it this year. <sighs> I want to see it so bad. So those are the books that I got. Again, none of them are Christian fiction except for Tony's. This is published by Bethany House and the rest are just clean, sweet rom-coms. But I'm very excited about round one of my Christmas books. I'm sure I will be buying more um, as the months lead up to Christmas because I do love Christmas books so much. And then I will be doing a Christmas TBR in November before December. <laughs> Let me know what's on your TBR so far. Do you have anything on your mind that you're going to read for Christmas? Did you partake in Christmas in July? Do you celebrate Christmas in July? I love Christmas in July. So, yeah. I'm all about Christmas. Anytime, any place, anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Don't forget you can check out my blog at ForTheLoveOfChristianFiction.blogspot.com You can check out my Instagram at ForTheLoveOfChristianFiction and all my other links are in the description box below. I think that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!